Now let's talk about the impact that failures and errors have on system performance because they can also be significant. We just talked about cache failures resulting in write through operations where writes don't get acknowledged until they reach disk. This can bring the array and associated applications to their knees. We've also mentioned drive failures and the associated rebuilds impacting overall system performance. Sure, RAID saves our butts when it comes to protecting our data from loss, but when a RAID set is rebuilding, performance can suffer. Then there's things like path failures. If a host's got two paths to storage and is using both of them in an active-active mode, if one of those paths fails, then the potential throughput to storage is halved. This can also have an impact on performance. But it's not just clear-cut failures like failed cache boards, failed drives or failed paths. Small and intermittent errors can also impact performance. On the fibre channel SAN, for example, faulty cables or faulty optics in SFPs can result in dirty connections that clock up things like encoding errors. These errors can impact performance as well as cause paths from hosts and storage to become flaky and unreliable, going up and down. And if your storage solution operates over IP networks, congestion and dropped packets can cause storage performance problems. So keeping a clean and healthy estate is also important when it comes to good, consistent performance.